things. And hey, look, I got a much better, much prettier way of showing you this week. And I'll slowly get this all right. So here we have Snake Drawing by, in Pen by John Howarth. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> and here's a colour in watercolour by John Howarth. He says it looks better in person. Well, it always looks better, doesn't it? Uh, the, you know, printing and sending emails never helps. That's really great. Well done, John. And here we have, hi, it's Mary. Here's my picture of the snake. That's good. Like the turning the snake into the S. That's good. Well done, Mary. And severed head snake by John Howth. John Howth obviously likes gruesome drawings. <laughs> nice, you've got the, I'm not sure if that's kind of the, the esophagus or the bones up the middle. I'm not sure. Anyway. Oh, am I going to shoot? Okay, to quit on you. I laid on my couch to draw a snake and I somehow ended up with this by negative plasma. Well, well, I think that's great, isn't it? I mean, you might find it a bit gruesome, but that's just, you can just see how it's grown and uh, it's, um, you know, kind of, kind of doodling, but it's imaginative and yeah, I like that a lot. Drawing of a boa constrictor eating an elephant. Snakes all different types by Antonin Prokhorov. Snakes of all different kinds. That, oh, I like that. That's kind of, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from the game snake, isn't it? Excellent, well done, Anthony. The year of the snake, that of um, Valeria in Italy. That's fabulous, isn't it? That's very kind of Chinese and patterned and I'm going very 3D perspective into the background. Lovely, and these lovely Chinese patterns around the side. Excellent, Valeria, fantastic. Uh, oh, my drawing of a snake done in watercolors by Emma 12 Slovenia. That's beautiful, isn't it? Lovely colors. Very lovely and it's all kind of Coming up around, there we are, yeah. And Chinese again, fabulous. Uh, I know it's late, but here's my snake drawing, Emma 12 Slovenia again. Uh, look at that crawling out through the eye of a skull. Fabulous. I may have done this twice, but it's a snake in the grass. <laughs> this is my first drawing task for the Wednesday drawing show. I hope you like it. By Anad. I love that. That's really nice and simple. Really good pattern. That's really good. And that rattle on the end. Oh, you mentioned February is the start of Chinese New Year, and that reminded me of Valentine's Day, and that inspired my snake drawing by Maria. That's really sweet, isn't it? And all these gorgeous, gorgeous doodly patterns. They're, they're beautiful, and all the hearts and everything. I love you, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. <laughs> uh, this is Shane's drawing of a snake. I know it's pretty good for an eight-year-old. Again, it's gorgeous. I really like that. There's a real character in there, and I think it's really good the way you've got the eyes... The eyes are on the side of the head, but they're looking straight ahead. That's clever. Joe Lowe, just a quick sketch I did in a couple of minutes. I think it's important for people to see unfinished drawings as well as finished ones, so they don't feel they have to be neat and loosen up a bit. I quite agree with you, Joe. That's really good. Thank you. A plastic snake, <laughs> like I had when I was young. I got the idea from your video about tubes from Tom. Hi, Tom. And uh, yeah, I had a plastic snake. I had one made out of bamboo as well, like that. Uh, my variation of shoes, Chinese snake by Scott Manis. That's lovely, isn't it? And I've got all that kind of scribbly biro in the background. Yeah, I like that. Unappreciated <laughs> snake by Anastasia. <laughs> well, I appreciate it a lot. And it's getting around these corners is really, really hard doing that kind of thing. I would just bring that line up in there a bit more. Just a little line in there. Whoa, a striped snake by Jonathan H. Five, that's a fabulous snake, Jonathan. It's beautiful, look at all those colors and stripes. Excellent, keep it up. Snakes by Hannah, age seven, they're fantastic too, aren't they? Uh, that's a beautiful curly-whirly bit there. And lovely patterns, diamond back patterns there. Gorgeous, you keep it up too, Hannah. 3D snake by Ruth, age 12, that's really nice, isn't it? And you've got this great perspective kind of thing with all this purple. <laughs> And uh, and it's almost like it's like a brick pattern, isn't it? Yeah, really interesting. It's amazing how everybody does such different things, isn't it? That's what I love about this show. Desert Serpent by Joshua, age fourteen. That's that's really atmospheric, isn't it? You know, kind of hiding a little bit of kind of grass in the oasis or something, and all the heat of the desert in the background. That's great. Snake and the Lotus, Giselle Naidu. I also drew the Nelson Mandela from last week. Oh yeah. There's the uh, there's the lotus and that. that's a really evil looking snake, isn't it? <laughs> it's, really, it's got a thing doesn't like lotus flowers. <laughs> but I like that lotus flower. That's great, and it's really good that that kind of curve there and seeing the tummy underneath. Yeah, that's great. 
great way of twisting the thing around. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Or in from the book, The Never Ending Story by Michael End. I draw with the ink pen and my new color pencils. Greetings from Germany, Zora. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's really, really nice. Well done. Beautiful patterning and it's all, yeah. Uh, Emil Vandenberg from El Belgium. The snake on the drawing is a cobra. I hope you like it. Yes, I do. And it's a cobra and you kind of made it slightly graphic as well with these things here. So it's kind of mixing styles, isn't it? Great. Uh, thought I'd join in this week's drawing task as well. Isabel, that's really nice. There we go. And again, this is these really kind of evil eyes on there, aren't they? Wouldn't want to be bitten by that. Mmm, snakey snake from my brother who got me into drawing and your show by Chris. Oh, that's good fun, isn't it? <laughs> it's kind of kind of kind of chirpy and cheerful, but at the same time a little bit sinister. Snake not by Beer Three Master. I'm never drawing with a marker again. <laughs> I forgot to put something under my paper and the table is messed up. Oh my goodness, yes, that is a problem with markers. Some markers are much worse than others. But, um, yeah, you need to put something underneath the table, underneath your paper. Or you can use marker paper, the special marker paper that doesn't bleed. Hello, she here's my snake. It's not quite done yet. At first it was going to be a snake on a table, but drawing the legs of the table made it look so odd. <laughs> I turned the table into a stone tile. Feel free to give it criticism by mysterious Dutch fan of the show. Mmm... Not uh, DX Dutch per chance, but anyway, <laughs> so that's lovely. And that's really uh, a good thing. You know, sometimes you get halfway through drawing and you think, mm, this isn't working, and, and turn the bit that isn't working into something else. So if you can't draw the table, turn it into a stone slab. And that's beautifully done, and all in pencil and shading. And yeah, great. Snake drawing by Jenny13, YouTube. I'm a fussy one. Shoot, you have inspired me to draw and express my feelings with art. Oh, your drawings are great. Well, thank you very, very much, Jenny. And that's great fun. <laughs> well done. Thanks for sending that in. <laughs> like the little yellow spots. Shoo, right now, this is my stick. <laughs> By Illy. My snake head, really easy to draw, actually. Shoo, right now, I'd also like to say that you're in inspiration to drawing. Thank you very much. And you just keep drawing, Illy. And uh, it's almost like a flower, isn't it? Yeah. Snake tea party. Chrysanthemum snake unwinds with a cup of tea. How wonderful. That's by Matt. That's very funny. This is kind of like the snake that I did, isn't it? The Chinese snake. <laughs> we got here the snake Chinese calendar. Little Chinese cup of tea, pot of tea and everything. China tea. That is great. I love that, Matt. Well done. Thank you. It's my year! Hooray! <laughs> Son Matthew Hubble Snake. That's great. And that's just a be beautifully laid out and all that sort of diamond pattern. Great. Excellent. The year of the snake. Mum Snake. Uh, Dawn Hubble. And that's her version of my one that I did. That's lovely. It's going into a real point at the end. Like that little point at the end it's almost like a drip of poison coming out <laughs> uh, that's lovely the year of the snake dad snake mark hubble how fun this is it's the whole family having a go isn't it great lettering excellent and i really like this is kind of metal armor isn't it kind of design fabulous my first ever cobra drawing maybe it will help with my fear of them Gillian dear age 14 well i won't let, i don't know where you live Gillian. uh whether you have cobras around where you live but what, we don't in england so we're we're lucky um that's lovely yeah i think sometimes drawing things it kind of you get used to it and it does maybe help you get over you know fear of things by drawing them that's an interesting point good keep drawing uh didn't turn out the way I wanted to, but it's still good, I think, from Tom15 of Norway. Good dark, Tom. Irony, don't lie. We all know the British people wear top hats and monocles. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. Uh, snake drawing by John Howard. Another one. Fantastic. That's a much tighter pattern there, isn't it? Yeah. And really good sort of shading around the edges and getting that 3D modelling effect. Yeah. And this is good here. This... Um, you know this this turn where you kind of twist not just not just curling it around but twisting it around as well that's good well done 
and oh my goodness milk snake by terry wilkerson i wonder how you've done that i have a feeling that's kind of been photoshopped and worked worked in photoshop it'd be nice to know that's very graphic isn't it great well done terry and king cobra by mary aris <laughs> that's great that's a completely different style and i love the way everybody has different different styles and ideas of doing it so this is kind of using these circles for the scales and oh celtic knots next by josh brooker you'll have seen josh doing celtic knots on the wednesday drawing show where we talked about snakes in the first place so he's drawn his own uh, version of the snake n celtic knots here that's lovely josh thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed the show snake by carhill 12 years old and aspiring artist i know carhill has been following my programs for a long long time that is very very good you've really got you can follow that all the way around yeah feels like it's going to weigh something if you pick that up if you know what i mean that's that's really good you've got that kind of feeling of weight to it lovely okay well i'm getting really quite a lot of people uploading their work and i love it but i'm afraid i'm not going to have time to talk about them all i'm i'm going to do these sunday gallery things are mostly about the drawings that you send up that have been kind of set as not how work, what is it the weekly drawing task that's the word i'm looking for but uh i'm going to zoom through all these drawings these are lovely these are drawn uh these are burnt burnt aren't they they're uh what, what, what do we call that um blah 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 i know there's a word for it for burning burning onto wood and um i should have a go at that sometime yeah that's really good isn't it yeah it, takes, it must take a bit of time and practice learning you know quite how hard to think that's uh london bus <laughs> there we go i know that doesn't have um oh marion there we are oh no there we are Ranger, there we go Ranger, that's one of those new chunky sporty range rovers no they always look so mean uh marion you obviously uh, oh we see where have we got the um, yeah that almost i think that's digital isn't it that one yeah well, I know this one said, my first face sketch was shading. That's really good, actually. Slightly starey eyes. <laughs> That's not a problem. I think you need more eyelid in there. Co cover up some of the eyeball at the top. And uh, here we go. That's 12 years old. Oh, we get, yeah, I'm having to zoom through these. I'm sorry about that. I really love your work. And so this is just kind of showing off your work that you've sent it up. And, uh, but I'm really going to spend most of my time showing the ones that people have done specially for the show. And uh, that was that was an uh, that was from the eye show. I'm really sorry. I kind of got them all modelled up last week. And uh, that's that's disgusting, isn't it? <laughs> that's a good eye. That's a great eye, isn't it? You could eat that on toast. I'm not sure about the black stuff in the middle. I don't know what, what is that? Poppy seeds? <laughs> that's a great. That's um, dinosaur, isn't it? Yeah, dinosaur drawing by Joshua, age fourteen. That's that's beautiful softness there. Um, it's Grace Klingler, and I think I should. I think I need to get a, a thicker biro as well. I need to get different different thicknesses. That's pretty scary. And um, that's a mushroom, would you believe me? I think it's mushroom and chili sauce and all the evidence of the drawing has been eaten. And that's drawing of eye on rubbish material. Uh, that was drawn on an old uh, flip chart that was being, you know, sort of whiteboard that was being thrown away. And that's a drawing that's been hanging around for a while on a on the window. It's kind of got degraded. That's very lovely. I know that was drawn on photocopy paper, so you, don't, you can draw on anything. A lot of my um, drawings on, on my videos are drawn on photocopy paper. That's very lovely. If I had any criticism, it could be the angle. Yeah, I would just put a little more hair on the top of the, of, of, of the boy there. Uh, the artifacts, I don't know them. It's good, uh, good trouser drawing. That's very good. I love that. It's really good to just sit in front of things and draw them. I'm going to do a show about that. And Liam Payne, One Direction. <laughs> I've drawn him too. <laughs> and that's very lovely. I know that's from Sevilla, isn't it? In La Macarena Antonio Soto. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure you're subscribed and watch the Wednesday Drawing Show every Wednesday. And there'll be a, a task there and you can upload your work and have it seen on the Gallery Review Show. And why not uh, subscribe to my almost daily vlog where you can see behind the scenes and what I do in my life. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye bye.